another tutorial today i'm gonna be doing this glitchy hole punch effect from the little baby and future from now on video so let's jump right into premiere okay so i got some screenshots from a video i shot I just took a few about 11 screenshots what you want to start by doing is dragging all of your screenshots to the timeline and you want to cut down each screenshot to about six frames I believe that's what they used in the actual video one two three four five six yeah about six frames each so Then you want to line each screenshot up side by side. So I have to scale each screenshot down to frame size because this is a 1080p sequence and the video is in 4K. So now what you want to do is grab whatever hole punch transition effects you have and you're going to want to drag above each screenshot so then after after you line up all your transitions you can see how that looks actually these are in 4k too so i'm going to scale all of these down Okay, so after you have all of your punch hole effects on top of your freeze frames, you want to play with the blending modes. So whatever you feel like looks cool. Okay, so now that you have all of your punch hole effects over your freeze frames, just to spice it up a bit. Because I noticed in video they have a glitch where it seems like the scene stretches like right there right there like it stretches and it does like a glow effect so what I'm gonna do to recreate that is let me turn these off so you can see exactly what's happening I'm gonna search turbulent displace drag that onto the clip the first clip change the displacement to horizontal then you want to make a keyframe for the amount size offset complexity and evolution it's all personal preference so you can just play around with whatever you want to play with then I want to make the first keyframe amount zero and leave the complexity on one and go about halfway turn the amount up to 50 complexity up to 10 so as you scroll you get a quick glitch quick glitch and then as far as the color the glow I don't know what they use but I'm gonna go with posterize and then I'm gonna want to start make a keyframe start my keyframe at about 20 first keyframe about 20 and then bring it down to 2 the lowest it can go and then I want to drag the whole keyframe sequence to the end so actually I want to drag it one frame before the end so it actually turns on the last frame then I'll save the turbulent displace and the posterize as a keyframe so command click to highlight both of them right click save preset and I'll say Glitchy Posterize. Then I'm going to drag 
to glitchy posterize on every other freeze frame. more fast paced motion Let me turn these on so then you want to render there you have it in my opinion the first one I made looks a little better but it's all up to you. It's all personal preference. Everything is, isn't going to look the same. So try it out. See what you come up with. One last thing in the original Little Baby video, they had like um, camera flashes or rolling shutter. Not rolling shutter. They had a Super 8 film sound. So I just went to YouTube, grabbed a Super 8 sound effect. Trimmed it down, and then now I have and there you have it, a simple effect from the little baby future from now on video.